Now then, guys, welcome to Strauss Gaming. I'm Luke. This is episode 14 of my Leicester City Let's Play Football Manager 2018. And today is a big day for the club. It is the FA Cup final against Crystal Palace. We should easily win this game. If it was a Premier League match, we should win it. But it's not a Premier League match, is it? It is the FA Cup final. And it is such a big game. I think Leicester have never, ever won the FA Cup. And I think I had an uh, email here. Hang on, let me just go to it. If it works, come on. Uh, let's have a look. Where is this email? FA Cup, here we go. So Leicester will be looking to win the FA Cup for the first time in the club's 137-year history when we play Crystal Palace today. That is ridiculous. Right, so if we have a look, can we go on to the FA Cup? Can we have a look at the history of the FA Cup? Because I think uh, records. Let's have a look. Right, past winners. Does it tell you who the runners-up are? So if we have a look, apparently Leicester have become the most runners-up of this this cup but I don't know how many years ago it was so see him a couple of times there right okay so I think it's four times so Wolves beat us on in well, the 1948 to 1949 season then Tottenham beat us in the 60s then we lost against Manchester United in 1962 then Man City in 1968 1969 so that's Four times, and that is a long time since we've got anywhere near kind of the final. We're going to change that today. We're going to win this match. I've really, I've just got a good feeling again about it. I really do. So tactic wise, this is the team I'm going to go for. Come on, load up. Right, Trent Alexander-Arnold's at right back, just because Tajan is out injured, and there's nothing I can do about that. Rob Holding and Gibson. My defensive pair that has finally come on really well so at the end of the season with Kazawa as a left, my left-back option. Again, I don't have any cover for left and right-back because Chilwell's still injured, Tajan's injured. Fingers crossed they don't get injured in the match. Also, I'm absolutely screwed. Midfield-wise, we've got Ndidi. We've got Fellaini who's potentially playing the last game for Leicester City. Um, kind of want to get him off the books. I want to get another decent ball-winning midfielder. Jack Wilshere. The captain has been class for us all season. Mares, I'm playing him in that role. I was going to play Perez. I was going to play Felix. But Mares has just got the high rating. He scored the most goals out of the out of the other lads. So, fingers crossed, you can get the start. You should do well. Then up front, we've got Silva. Then we've got Eniacho. Silva's now taken over Eniacho's goal scoring for the season. Eniacho got all the goals at the beginning of the season. Silva's got them at the end of it. Head to head, unless he actually grabs three goals today, gets a hat trick, and Silver gets none, he will then be the top goal scorer of the season. So, them two have got a little bit of a fight going on between us. Bench wise, Evan Swift is on there ahead of Scott. No, Scott's still on there. So, I've got Evan Swift, Perez, Toledo, McCule, Felix, Danello, and Chris Scott. Again, we've got a lot of injuries. I feel like I need another midfielder on the bench, to be honest with you. Um, We've got attacking midfielders. I may not have Scott on the bench. I may put Holtby on the bench. Um, Stuart Armstrong hasn't been good for us this season. He's he's wanting to leave. And as as well, I said in the last video that people haven't complained about not getting football, like Raya, Danilo, Armstrong. Soon after that, as soon as I click the next button, there they were complaining about not playing any football. I've managed to salvage... Uh, Danello and uh, uh, Danello and who's our uh, reign of the goalkeeper? Gibson sorted that out for us. I didn't have to get involved. Armstrong wouldn't listen to Gibson. And I've said to him, I'm going to let him go. And I've transfer listed him. He's worth 24 million. I've asked for 20 million. I bought him for 14. It will be it be decent if we manage to get 20 million for him, considering he's not really played a lot and he's 29. Anyway, I've waffled on enough. Let's get in. To this final, can we win it? The most. This is definitely our most important game 
so far. And I'm so glad. Um, well, so well, most important game of the save so far. And I'm, I'm really glad Silver's not cup tied or anything like that. It would have been a massive loss for us if he was. Let's get into the game. I should have gone through Crystal Palace's team, really. Bear in mind, Crystal Palace as well have just managed to get um, promoted. So they're back into the Premier League. What we're going to put here, we've been on a good run of form. Go out there and impress me. Let's say that. Let's not tell them we expect to win because it'll probably just jinx it. Game's kicking off. We're, we're going attacking. We've not changed anything on the tactics. It's, it's just work for us. Just going, playing attacking football. It's just work for us for the end of this season. So, indeed, he picks this ball up to silver. Can I get across in Iniacho's in the middle? He's finding the cross. Iniacho is in there. He's not scored in a few games, Iniacho. It's been a good, I'm going to say five games, maybe even six without a goal for Iniacho. So, he is struggling a little bit. Chris Scott was on a bit of form. Maybe should have started him. I don't know. really don't know, but... I've just realised, I've just seen that Danny Drinkwater is playing for Crystal Palace. That's just going to be terrible for us. And they're in, and Crystal Palace take the leads in the FA Cup final. Jay Rodriguez setting up a phobie after I've just noticed that Danny Drinkwater is playing for them. And the championship team slash newly promoted Premier League team are ahead of us at the minute and that's just not fair we've been all over them as well while the looks of things and the stats but it's only 10 minutes on we're good at comebacks you know we're that's what we've done all season really we've conceded early goals we're not been bothered by that Lopez is coming quite far out of his goal there to Gibson we can't really get it out of our half here and Fellaini again passing it back to Lopez Crystal Palace are doing a good job of Keeping us out. And Lopez just boots the ball forward. He cannot find Morris. Just straight over his head. Why he just didn't play it short, I don't know. They've just played a ball over the top to a phobie. It's Jay Rodriguez is going to pass it to Zaha. What a save by Lopez then. We got let off. I tell you what, Crystal Palace are no joke for this game. They really, really want it. But we've got a corner. Right, Silver's picked the ball up. What's he going to do? Play it back out wide? No, so he's played it to Ndidi. Ndidi has just hit the post. Silver should have really passed it out wide then for Morris, who then could probably have got a decent cross off. That's what I don't get sometimes. The vision is from the players. Morris were in loads of space. You, I really think that's where the ball should have gone. Morris is on the ball now, though. He's found an Iacho. He's had a shot, and he's got a goal. He's equaled things up for us. It is 1-1. In the FA Cup final. And I wonder how many times I'm going to say that in this save. FA Cup final. Mares though. Great assist. Fans in the Acho who just blasts it. With his left foot. Left hand side of the goal. The keeper is just not going to save that. And Jack Wilshere has picked up an injury. I'm kind of glad I put Holtby on the bench now. Because that's the position he can play. Um, we'll see how it goes. But Wilshere with the injury. Taking the free kick. And there we go. Silver's passed it to Ndidi. Ndidi's scored. We've now taken the lead. It is 2-1. Just before the half an hour mark. That's what we're talking about. Wilshire with the uh, free kick. Crystal Palace can't head it clear. Silver's there to pick it up. Passes it to Ndidi. And Ndidi's there. The superstar, I think. I reckon he's probably going to be my player of the season this season. Wilfred Ndidi. He's played near up every single game for us. He's by far the best player at the club that we own. Silver's probably on par with him. But it's a different position. Definitely the best midfield player we've got at the club. And let's see, Crystal Palace on the attack here. And Jay Rodriguez just picked up a goal. Sahar with a nice cross. Nice cross. Trent Alexander-Arnold should have really picked up Jay Rodriguez then. If we have a look. They've come forward. Drink water with a nice pass out to, to Sahar. Plays it across and Jay Rodriguez is just there waiting. Trent Alexander-Arnold should have marked him a lot tighter than that. This is one hell of an FA Cup tie. 2-2 two, two. half time right we're on the attack again now Indeedy can he play it to Trent Alexander-Arnold can he do anything good better with it well to Wilshere played it back outside Trent Alexander-Arnold with a cross in and it bounces around their box and Crystal Palace have cleared now if Obi's going forward with it it's found Sahar he's on a yellow card Sahar so hopefully we may be able to get him sent off if Obi's though he's running in had a shot and the first one initially saved 
if Phoebe was it or Jay Rodriguez wasn't there to put it in the back of that and now we're countering Silver with a cross and it was to it was to no one. Right. Flaney's picked up his normal yellow card he gets in a match. And things I don't know whether I should be pleased or not. And they've got a corner here. Drinkwater's taken the corner. We've managed to defend it out, but only to as far as Sahar, who has a shot and it goes wide. I, I thought we, I thought he fought, forced a save out of a Lopez there. He didn't. Right, Ben Gibson and Rob Holden, even though I've bigged them up, are not having that good of a game. Trent Alexander-Arnold's not. We can see that from the highlights. Um, half time, 2-2. Two, two. Eight shots. We've had most possession. I'm not best pleased with that half, to be honest with you. I'm just going to say I'm far from pleased. We should be winning. We should win this match easily, but Again, it's it's a cup game. It's not a league game. It's it's completely different. And Flaney, in my eyes, then was very very lucky with that uh, with that tackle. And I am kind of thinking. Well, I was thinking of maybe going the uh, the four two three one formation, but no, maybe not. Any actually was in, and it's safe. We've got a corner, just because. Delaney's on a yellow card and Wilshire is injured. And I think I'm going to take Wilshire off and bring on Lewis Holtby after this save. So, Sahar is definitely being a danger man for him. I maybe should put some team instructions on, close down Sahar a little bit more. Right, can we defend this Crystal Palace attack? All over the top. Sahar has got the better of Kazara and they're in. A phobia has just scored the goal to put. Crystal Palace in the lead, and I'm starting to get a little bit worried. Um, hope we can come on. Right, I'm just thinking what I want to do. Why is out wide? Blaney out wide. I may do this for now, and then I'll bring on attacking midfielder in a minute. Toledo, oh, he was the other guy. Toledo wanted to play more football as well. He's come on. He's not. I don't think he's think he started one game for us. I don't know if this is going to make any difference at all. I don't want to just do things for you. Take off that. We're going to have to change it a little bit. Hopefully, Toledo comes on and gets his goal. We've got plenty of time to get back into the game. I really, really want us to win this match. I really do. I'll be good if we do not win the FA Cup. I'm going to be absolutely gutted. Sahar to a phobie. Right, what can we do? Trent Alexander Arnold on a 6.3 rating. It's because I mentioned him before the game, that's what it was. Hmm. The game ticks on. I don't know what to do here. Trent Alexander Arnold to Ndidi. Tamarez to Holtby. To Ndidi. Tamarez to Silva. To Holtby. To Ndidi. This looks like a good attack to Trent Alexander Arnold. Is in. To Ineacho has got the third goal for us. It's 3 3. This is exactly what we needed. We've changed the formation up and it, it may have worked, but we need to get another goal off. This is going to extra time. Oh my God. So that's a good cross in by uh, Trent Alexander Arnold. He's got himself another assist after I've just been slating him. He's come out. He's like, getting right. They're looking nervous. What can I. Wait a bit. Is that time to calm down, maybe? Just calm down a little bit. That may. Soothe the nerves, will it? I don't know. Calm down. No, it's, it's not worked at all. Can I do another shout? What can I tell him to do now? Concentrate? I won't let me do another one yet. Um, no, I've just put get creative. I didn't want to do that. Oh, well. I haven't made my sub yet because I think this is definitely going to go to extra time. 
unless we manage to get a goal in the last minute. That is that, guys. It is 3-3, free free and it's gone to extra time. This is not what we expected. And I'm going to tell him far from pleased. How's the team looking? Because I was looking very tired out there. So is Ndidi. This is not good. And I just want to have a look at tactics. Let's go into the tactics screen. Because I shouldn't be looking at this yet, but who are my best penalty takers and are they on the pitch? Felix is not on the pitch and he's one of my best penalty takers. Okay, so Silva's there. Right, Iniacho's on a hat trick, but his penalty taking's only eight. As it goes on, if it's looking like it's going to go to penalties, I think I'm going to have to be taking Iniacho off. Let's start extra time and see what happens. Hopefully, in the actual bags, his hat trick. And then, and what did it say at the beginning of the uh, match? If any actual manages to get himself a hat trick, he will um, overtake Silver this season to being Leicester City's top goal scorer. So maybe that's what he wants to do. Uh, well, uh, yeah, we can make two subs, can't we? What am I on about? Right, okay. I forgot you can make an extra substitution. So Holt B and DD. I know Holt B's only come on. What's his oh, I don't want to do I don't want to click on that. What's his penalty taking like? Ten. Right, I can make subs. Um, I feel bad subbing Holtby off when he's just come on. But screw it. Let's put Felix on. Sorry, Holtby lad. So we still have one more sub we can make. Was it two more subs we can make? I know one, so yeah. Right, <laughs> not a lot's happened that half. This is going to go to penalties. This is really going to go to penalties. If we manage to get a goal now. Mares hits the post. Oh, my God. Um, I was just going to say, if we manage to get a goal now, I'm just going to drop it to defensive. But Crystal Palace are on the attack here. Gibson clears that up by the looks of things. And it looks like it's going to go to penalties. It really does. So, What's Perez penalties taking like? Let's have a look. I can't believe it's the FA Cup final and I'm looking about who is my best penalty takers. And sorry, Ineacho, you're not good at penalties. You're coming off, mate. You've played an absolute blinder of a game, but Perez is better at penalties than you. And then I need to sort out the penalties, but that will come to it before I'm on it. So let's go. Oh, my God, this is so nerve-wracking. Because I was... Looking knackered out there. Mm. One minute of added time in extra time. We've got a corner. Come on, Toledo, get a goal. Mares. It's going to go to penalties, isn't it? What can Mares do with it? Mares. He has a shot. What a waste. What an absolute waste. It is going to come down to penalties on the FA Cup final. Let's just get rid of all these. Auto pick, Silva, Mares, Felix, Kadawa. Who's looking tight right? I don't think I can watch this. I really don't. Right, they've scored the first penalty. Silva. Thing is, penalties wise, Mares has missed a few this season. Silver, well, say this season, this save. Silver's in, and Silver manages to get the uh, the goal. Goodbye, steps up. And again, nice, easy penalty. Just, oh, Mares, I can't watch these. This is just so nerve wracking. Mares, penalty missed. What did I just say about Mares in missing penalties? Oh, 
Oh, thank God they've just missed. Right, Felix, come on. He's in, he's scored, get in. Right. J. Rodriguez, miss your penalty. No, he doesn't. I don't even think our keeper's there. I'm not even going to lie. I think our keeper's just stood there and just letting him go in. Trent Alexander-Arnold, please score this. Please, please, please score this. And again, bottom right, left-hand corner. I tell you what, that's where everyone's going. Just bottom, just bottom right, in it? Drink water against the old club. And we've saved it. It's hit it straight at the keeper. As drink water, ex-Leicester City player, just lost it for Crystal Palace. Perez is coming to step up. I don't even know how these new penalties work. Um, it's not the ABBA rule, is it? It's not the ABBA rule or whatever it is. Like Perez, please score this. Please score this. Come on. For the winning penalty. Get in. We have just won the FA Cup for the first time in Leicester City's history. <laughs> We don't even get the celebrations. And to be honest with you, I was, probably should have played them in 3D thinking about it. I was too busy worrying about who's winning the penalties instead of me watching them in 3D. Apologies, guys. Really probably should have done that. But I don't care. We've just won the FA Cup. The first bit of silverware and... Congratulations. Um, yeah, I'm happy with your performance. Eventually, yeah, it was a draw at the end of the day, but we managed to win the FA Cup. We've got the achievement, Cup glory. We should have won that match easily. We made hard work of it. Crystal Palace gave us a right game, and it came down to Danny Drinkwater, who obviously feels sorry for us because he left to go to Chelsea for big money. And it didn't work out for him. If we have a quick look at Danny Drinkwater, he left to go to Chelsea for £27 million. He played five games that season for him. Didn't work, so he moved to Crystal Palace for £10 million. He was featured a lot for him, and his, his best seasons for him has been down in the Championship. Danny Drinkwater, you have just won us the FA Cup. Thank you. <laughs> Right, that's that's amazing. So that's going to be the end of this season, and what a season it has been! I'm just gonna might as well use the club doctor for that. So we'll see how much more money we've just won. Uh, I don't want to do the press conference. I don't. We've done one. We've paid out a lot of bonus for the winning the FA Cup. Mara's almost getting a million, <laughs> just over half a million. Uh, we're given. 2 million, 1.87 million pounds for winning it. So you don't get a lot really for winning the FA Cup, do you? Considering it is I'm not saying 1.8 million isn't a lot. It, it is. Um, this is amazing. Uh, the board are happy with the win. It's the first ever win. Oh, it's. I'm so pleased. Ineacho with the two goals. And I need to just quickly check. Has that put him. Tight, I'm going to praise him. Well done. And that, has that put him level on goals with Ineacho? And Wilfred Sahar, by the way, had an absolute blinder of a game against us. So if we have a quick look at the squad, I know we did this before, but goals. <laughs> Silver and Trent, uh, sorry, Silver and Ineacho ended on 25 goals apiece. That's 50 goals for on this season. And Obviously, not all of them in the league for both of them, but all in all, I'm saying that's that's decent. I'm so happy that we've just won that. I was just sitting there thinking, if we have a look, obviously, we've seen the end of the season. I've done this already, but we haven't won, apart from in kind of penalties, in normal time, we've, we've drawn the last three games. So, not looking good for the end of the season, really, in that way, but We've done it. We're champions of the FA Cup. Is that even a thing? We're winners of the FA Cup. Anyway, guys, if you have liked this season so far, or if you've liked this series or anything else on my channel, please leave me leave me a like. 
if you're new here, subscribe. If this is the first video you're watching of mine, I'd say go back and check the others, but the early ones aren't that great. And, well, this one's probably the best episode to come into it because we've just won a cup. Get in. Anyway, guys, I've got two long pre-seasons to go through now. Hopefully I can get this done in time before Friday or else we're not getting a video. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. I will catch you at the beginning of the season. See you later, guys. Bye.